Hi, I'm Pete Berry, Product Management Director with Sandomatic, and today we're going to look at how we can retrofit an existing angle line Sandomatic strainer with our new made trap to make it a magnetic trap strainer. We're going to walk through how to exchange your current angle line strainer uh, with the magnet trap element frame and then combine that to make a magnet trap strainer. So keeping our elements but adding the magnet trap capabilities of our new magnet trap strainer. Uh, first off, this, this strainer here, we've done a cutaway so you can see what's going on inside of it. This would be your process strainer. Uh, for retrofit, there's a couple requirements for our magnet trap. The first is that it is standard flow and inlet standard flow. So flow is coming in from this way, uh, flowing through the strainer and out the side. Uh, the reason for that is the magnet trap sits up here in this cavity. Uh, the other requirement is inch and a half, two inch, two and a half and three inch tri-clamps are the only sizes retrofitable for this. So if you have a four inch tri-clamp strainer, uh, you wouldn't be able to retrofit it. Uh, so we're gonna take apart uh, the inside of this strainer element and we're gonna replace it with the magnet trap. So we took out the element insert and you can see we have a perforated element here. I put aside the tri-clamp, the four inch tri-clamp, and I'm gonna take off the four inch gasket as well. And we're gonna reuse both of these when we put in the mid trap uh, element. Uh, now we're gonna take off the remainder of the perforated element. Uh, we're gonna set aside the cap for the clip because we have a new one as part of the mid trap uh, retrofit kit. And this O-ring is attached to this frame. So we're gonna keep that off the side as well. Uh, the made trap has a different O-ring and O-ring retainer design. Okay, so I've set aside the uh, old element insert with the O-ring, the cap, the clip. Uh, we're not going to reuse those, uh, but we are going to reuse the tri-clamp and the gasket. And then we have the same element insert. So this right now we're showing a perp insert. Um, you could be using this with uh, any sort of uh, mesh overlays or filter tubes. It could be a wedge wire element as well. You can reuse any of these elements. So keep your element. Uh, we're gonna move over to our magnet trap uh, retrofit kit that we got here. Uh, we are using an angle line that is short size. So we've ordered the, uh, would order the short size retrofit kit. It comes with a couple things. One is the actual magnet trap. Uh, so the trap itself is connected to the frame. Um, so that's all one piece. The O-ring will come with the O-ring retainer. I've already put that O-ring on, on the inside. Uh, I'm gonna slide that onto the, the trap. Uh, one side of them has these grooves. You put those grooves inwards and it locks in with the bar and the made trap. So that's nice and secure. And then after that, you put your element over that and slide it up against the O-ring retainer. And then I'll take my new cap, throw that on top. And finally, I'll take my O-ring, uh, sorry, not O-ring retainer, but uh, clip, slide that on there, get that centered, and then put that over and lock that and secure that in place. Um, so now we have our fully assembled magnet trap strainer. We're gonna put that back into our process strainer line. Again, this, this doesn't need to break your process at all. You can leave this completely uh, in line during all of this. Um, I'm gonna slip on the, the gasket, the four inch tri-clump gasket over the top that I was using. Uh, and then I'm gonna put this all back inside. Okay, so now I've uh, fully inserted my magnet trap strainer element. Reusing my perforate element, I'm able to have fine particulate straining. Uh, now with the new made trap insert, I also have magnetic straining capabilities as well. To order any of the Maidenet Trap strainer element assemblies, uh, go to the Maidenet Trap section of our catalog and you'll see two complete assemblies. The assembly, as the picture shows, includes the Maidenet Trap strainer element frame, the Maidenet Trap strainer O ring retainer, as well as the O ring, and a end plug and retaining clip. Uh, there's two part numbers for those different assemblies. One is for the short angle line strainer, and the other one is for the long angle line strainer. So there's two different uh, assemblies depending on the length of your installed angle line strainer. Uh, again, these are for standard flow and inlet flow directions and from one and a half, two inch, two and a half to three inch tri-clamp connection sizes.